Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing a Python based game known as Tic Tac Toe and popularly known as Zero X game. So as far as building this game is concerned and as far as the requirements to build this game is concerned is Python programming language and a Visual Studio code or any other Python code editor. I have specifically used Visual Studio code out here. So that's why I've mentioned Visual Studio code out here. So let's have a look on the code of this particular game. This is entirely a uh, coded game that is tic-tac-toe. Let's have a look on the main functions first. We have two lists, x state and z state initially as initially initialized as zero, zero values. Then we have a while loop with the while true means this condition basically we need to particularly add and enter the values of zero and x according to the different positions out here. So we'll, uh, we need to uh, play this game continuously. That's why we have uh, implemented while true out here. So we have called our print board function. So what we'll do is we'll see the main function and in, in main function, we have called different functions. And as the moment we'll reach that particular function, we'll see that what function it is and we'll see the code of that particular function. So we have reads our till, till out here. So we'll see what is print board function. So we have created a print board, print board function that basically prints a board in the form of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which start from zero. That prints zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And accordingly, the this will the they will give an option that we you need to enter the x or zero in the specific position. For example, uh, if we'll encounter first we'll encounter x stance. So we need to enter that particular number or that particular position we need where we need to put x and si simultaneously goes with zero. They will ask for zero chance, O chance and particularly uh, we'll, uh, we'll enter that particular number and that particular number position will be mapped with O. So this is basically a board where we will print the proper column and rows with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then Use, then the this this particular game will ask you to enter the choice to enter the chance of x. So if you need to enter the you need to enter the position where you need to play with x, and you need to enter the position with you, where we where we need to put zero. So basically, this is a entirely print board function. Then there is secondly we have check win function, and in check win function we have uh, passed two parameters x state and z state basically this particular function will check the winner as the name suggests as the name suggests this function checks the as the name suggests this function check the winner so this will check the winner of the game so we have a list of list out here from 0 to uh, 2, 4, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, 3, 6, 1, 4, 7, 2, 5, 8, 0, 4, 8, and 2, 4, 6. So as you can see that the number of possible situations where x can win can be x at 0, 3, and 6, where it is here, 1, 4, and 7, like here, 2, 5, and 8, like here, and 0, 1, 2, if we have the x at 0, 1, 2 positions, if we have x in 3, 4, 5 positions, if we have 6, and 7, uh, 6, 7, 8 position, similarly goes with 0 also. O also, if we have 0 in 0, 3, 6, 1, 4, 7, 2, 5, 7, 2, 5, 8, and we'll see diagonally 2. 0, 4, 8, 2, 4, 6, 1, 4, 7. So basically, these are all the values, where possible values of x and 0 where x and 0 can win uh, specifically accordingly. So this is entirely a tic-tac-toe, basically a model tic-tac-toe game where we'll, we will be understanding the concept more clearly once the code is run. And as I enter this hit button, so as you can know, as you, you, you know that, that each and every turn will decrease after each and every entry. So we'll see the uh, output of this particular code 
then we'll understand the output will map each and every output with our code line and see what happens so as i hit the enter button so as you can see that this is particularly a board that we have printed so this particular uh, board has been printed with the help of print board function then in the main functions we have uh, x stands so we'll enter the value of we we'll enter an integer of integer from 0 to 8 as we have integers in, on the board from 0 to 8 and we we want we will add that particular integer specifically map with that position where we need to map our x for example i need to i want my x on one position so i will enter one i will hit enter as you can see on entering one x is mapped at one one position now let's so let's uh, do one thing we'll put uh, not zero chance right so we'll put zero on third position so we have you can see that third position is mapped with zero let's uh, put x on fourth position so let's have put let's put x on fourth position so as you can see x is mapped on fourth position let's put seven on uh zero stance let's put a, a five on zero so as you can see as i put five on zero the particular o value is matched with five now as you can see that if i enter x on seven x on seven means x x and x one four and seven values are mapped with x so in, uh, so according to our program and logic it should give the results as x won the match and match over so as i enter seven position as you can see x won the match and match over so this is particularly the basically tic-tac-toe game in python let's play it once again i think you, are, you guys can find this particular game very interesting now we'll try to uh, able, we'll try to win through zero so i enter zero on first position x stands i let i enter x on first position then i'll enter zero on uh, third position as i enter zero on third position so it uh, zero is uh, enter on third position now i will enter zero uh, o on fourth position so i enter o on fourth position sorry x on fourth position so i'll now i will add six o o on o, now it's o stands now so I, I I will add O on sixth position. So I'll add O on sixth position. Now I'll add X on two second position. So I'll add X on two position. Then again it's zero stance. So as you can see that if on zero position, if on the next stance of X, if X will be added or mapped with zero position, so X X X will win. X will win the match. But now it's zero stance. So as you can see that from downside zero can win. Uh, zero can win that match o can win that match if I enter zero o on zero position so i'll enter o on zero position now you can see that a message will be displayed on our screen which will uh, which will tell us that o's won the match and match over so as i hit enter the hit uh, as i hit the enter button as you can see that this is but uh, oh i have i need to enter one uh, one more time it's i have entered uh, o on first position so uh, let's play it once again so it's x stands i'll add zero on x stands then i'll add uh, uh, let's add with zero stands now so let's add uh, o stands so let's add o on second position so i will add o on second position oh, i need to enter zero that's why i'm getting another okay okay i got it got it so let's got uh, let's uh, play it once again i'll enter uh, x stands so i'll enter two on x i'll enter zero on uh, uh, one uh, okay and now it's again it's x stance so i'll uh, map x with fifth position i'll map x with fifth position so x will come out to be at fifth position so i'll write fifth position now i'll enter zero on third position i'll enter zero on third position so as you can see that uh, is it's again uh it, against the it's again the uh now it's x stance now so i'll uh, write x on I'll write X on with position. I'll write X on. Let Let's add X on seven position. So I'll add X on seven position. Zero chance. So I'll enter the uh, zero on third position. So I enter the zero on third position. Now it's again X chance. I'll enter the X on fourth position. So I'll enter the X on fourth position. Now as you can see, if I enter the sixth position, the zero 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 will zero uh, will win the game. So it will display the message as 
zero one is the game and match over. So I will enter six. As you can see that zero one the match and match over. I hope you guys find this code and game very interesting. So this was entirely a Python based tic tac toe game. I hope the code is precise enough and the output is more clear and interesting enough. It's a fun game. Please do enjoy it playing through pipe through the uh, power of Python. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope the things are clear enough. Please do subscribe to our channel my project ideas to get some more interesting stuffs in technical domains. Till then keep growing and keep exploring. Thank you so much.